Today we're at Boom Bots in Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to show you around the restaurant a little bit and have a conversation with one of the owners. They have multiple locations. They have a couple franchises, a couple corporately owned stores, and this is their flagship location, which recently had a tornado go through it. Recently, I mean two or three years ago, had a tornado go through it, tore up the whole place. They had to redo it all, and we're going to see what their perfect layout for their new locations moving forward are going to be, because that's what this one is. So let's sit down with Enzo. He's going to share the story of Boombots, how they got started, how they're growing, and a little insight into the business. So let's get right into this episode right now. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Boombots here in East Nashville. So this is the biggest location we got, part of East Nashville. Been here three years, so. This is a cool area too. Oh yeah, love the area. It's definitely growing. Nashville is a great spot too, so we're we're excited to be a part of the community and a lot of a lot of sports fans here. We got Vandy, we got Titans, so. So Nashville's like. Is it more of a college football town or like? You get kind of the best of both worlds. You got the college town yeah. up the street, and then you also got the NFL Titans, Nissan Stadiums five minutes away. Yeah, so, I saw that yeah, yeah. That so, game days are always fun. We, uh, people can walk from the stadium here. So, yeah. should, it's always a good time on so, game so day. What's, so. the, what's the, like, describe your business. Like, what is it? It is a start a pizza pizza joint a watch bar tap house craft beer and good times so really focus on the pizza that's kind of the heart of everything yeah. but also being able to cater to the customers and be able to enjoy that pizza but also have a good cocktail have a good drink with your friends and most importantly have fun and have a good time and that's what boomba stands for boomba's uh, it's Italian slang for wild, crazy fun. Okay. So we kind of live by that. You know, we, I was going to ask you what that means. That's what that means? Yeah, yeah. It's boom bots. So like in uh, Italian, it's boom bots. So yeah, it means wild, crazy, and fun. So we try to live by that every day. Started off as just 10, 15 seats as a slice shop. And uh, this is kind of where we've grown to. And this is kind of the model we want to keep growing into as well. A 25-person seat bar, you got a ton of tables over there, big screen TV in the background, like yeah. 20 other TVs going on here. So you see every football game, everything here. Oh yeah. And actually a, a tornado came through here three or four years ago and tore off this whole roof. No, and sir. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we actually redid the whole Were thing. Were you guys, oh, like, did you, was this open when like yeah. operating when that happened? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Thank God. God everyone was okay. It, it came all of a sudden, it was a big tornado. It came right through here buildings over there were just Holy wiped out. Yeah, this whole uh, roof was gone and we were like, you know what? Let's do a different layout. Yeah. So it was different before that happened? Yeah, yeah. What would it look like before that happened? So actually the bar was in the middle and it was a square and it had TVs all around. We did a lot. Uh, didn't have the outside indoor, outdoor bar. Um, and then also operationally you learned a lot with carry out. Carry out used to be over there, moved it over here, just, yep. you know, got to learn a lot from the opening stuff. So that's, so, I mean, so a positive out of a negative, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you exactly. said, all right, a lot of people own pizzerias are like, most people who own pizzerias buy an existing pizzeria. Yeah. Or maybe they don't know about operating a restaurant or business and they just open one and they like, they lay out the floor plan thinking it's gonna work. Yeah. And then once you work it, you're like, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I wish <laughs> I, I did, yeah, I wish I could redo it all. Yeah, yeah. Because if I could redo it all after having been here, I would do it like this. Oh yeah. So you got the chance to do that. Exactly, yeah. It was so this is like this exactly guy. how you'd want it to be. Yeah. Bill, on the way over here, I drove around the building, there's like six other shops around here. Yeah. So like, how do you guys stand out? Like, what do you do to like, because obviously if you're competing with other businesses, yeah. it's cool to see other businesses because that means there's a sustainable business. But then you also have to think about like, all right, now you're competing with all those other businesses to get the customer's attention. So like, what do you, how do you guys think about that? So I think definitely a lot of good competition in the area, right up the street, good pizza. Yeah. I think it comes down to operations first, you know, always good service, good food. Yeah. I think that's the, the biggest thing is you can't, that, that's gonna give the experience, you know, is uh, good service, good food, and then staying innovative. Constantly, you know, new menu we got coming up. Yep. Um, do you guys find yourself to be, you try to be different than those places, or like, what do you, how do you think about that? You just try to be the best you possibly can be. Yeah, we always try to stick to just being the best we can be, and, uh, you know, 
everybody's kind of got different styles as well. Yeah. What's but, your style? Like, well, how would you say your style? Oh, uh, we have traditional, old world style, and then also uh, new. So, hand tossed. Yeah. But we do have a thin crust. So New York ish. New York. Like if someone yeah. saw it, they may say, "Oh, that, that looks like a New York style pizza," but yeah. it's not like a traditional New York style pizza. Not, not really. It's nah. so weird, isn't pizza uh, weird now? It used to be There's like so three different styles, like Detroit style, New York, or like pan. Yeah, and yeah. now it's like a thousand different styles. So like I try to, because every time I talk to somebody, they, they their pizza looks or they do it differently, right? Yeah. But I try to like connect the dots for someone who's looking at it to be like, all right, what is it, what kind of pizza do you have? Yeah, yeah. And it's not New York style, but like if someone who doesn't know pizza like we do, they may be like, oh, that's New York style. Yeah, so yeah. Like it's in a pan and it's square. Someone just is like, oh, that's Detroit it's style. Detroit, yeah. But it's like not really. Yeah, yeah. So and then I you got Chicago. Saying. Yeah, that's true. Everything else like that. Yeah, yeah. You, like you said, it is a gamble. Yeah. Opening a pizzeria, small or big, is not easy to do. Hundred percent. You know, yeah. and it is a gamble because there's so many factors that go into it. Yeah. That you you do control, but there's there's some that you don't control. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of it too. Yeah. And that's the. Uh, that's what I love about it. There's something about it we love. No matter how yeah. much stuff, chaos goes on around, there's something about it that you get up every day and you're like, yeah. let's go. Let's you always like, it. you always have days you're like, I remember being in the pizza shop and like having days where you're in it and you're like, this sucks. Yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. And then it's over and you're like, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do bad. I love about I could, I kinda, I, well, I'm ready to do it again. <laughs> yeah, But yeah. like you're in the weeds, it's busy, it's hectic, like things are breaking, people are asking you, like when you're the owner or the manager, like everybody's coming to you. Yeah. Hammering you with questions and need things and it's hard to be like the go-to person especially when the chaos is going on in a restaurant oh, yeah. but yeah if you can own a, a, a pizza restaurant you can do anything yeah <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true taught me a lot a lot about life just working in the kitchen yeah. honestly you know friday night on cut cutting pizzas yeah. it's like you can learn a lot about just life in general and being able to multitask yeah. and you know, stay calm through the chaos and all of that stuff. What's on the menu here? Like, what are you guys known for? Is the menu the same across all of them? Yeah, same menu across uh, all of them. We actually have a new menu. It's been about five, six years since we've uh, revamped the menu. So actually, we're doing a test at our Jeffersonville location right now. And in about 20 days, everything goes well. We're going to roll it out to all locations. Um, but still keeping the same, you know, signature pies. We're known for the gourmet pizzas. Yep. I think I was talking uh, in the podcast, just, you know, chicken and potatoes on yeah. pizza and uh, a lot of innovative stuff. That's kind of what we... Who does the menu? It's me right now. Is yeah, it really? Yeah. So you just I like, work... whatever you like to eat, you like kind of come up with a pizza idea? Yeah, yeah. I kind of look at trends and different stuff and then also just the engineering of the menu. Like, uh, for example, we had a chicken fajita pizza. Yeah. And wasn't selling that good and we we're like you know what what if we called it fire roasted chicken same ingredients same yeah. everything just change the name all of a sudden really yeah the just by was, changing the name just by changing the name wow so, that's yeah. crazy well you yeah. know what it is it's kind of like if you think about like youtube like i do youtube right yeah youtube the content is the same the video right but like you tweak the thumbnail or the title of the video just to get you someone to try it, it yeah and you're like just the way it looks or sounds make someone want to try it or watch it more. Yeah. So that totally makes sense. Yeah, I love little stuff like that. Yeah. It's a small win. But that's cool because you don't do anything. Exactly. All you do is change the title of the, the, the pizza. Yeah, yeah. It's like a YouTube video. You change the title of the pizza and someone said, oh, I'll try that. And yeah, it like took like, off. All right, let's do it. That's so much easier than having to like redo a pizza or a menu. Or, yeah. I don't think many people think of that either. Like yeah. I never really thought of that. I, I always thought like if the pizza didn't sell, Nobody wanted the pizza. Yeah. I never thought I'd change the name. I know, I know. Sometimes it's like, you know what? This is a good pizza. You got the, got that in you? Because yeah. sometimes you got to let go. You know, yeah, sometimes yeah. there's things you just are not good. But it was actually an award winner. And we we're just like, you know, we know. Nobody it. was trying it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we just changed the name. And that's super sudden, cool. It, yeah, yeah. You know, what kind of, like, what's your most popular item here? I would say. Like, what do people come here for? They come here for. The signature pizzas, yep. Uh, the award winners, honestly, you know, green chili chicken, uh, and then you got the old world classics that have been on the menu for 20 years. That you know, in the bar and the TVs and everything. Yeah, too, sure. Bar TVs, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's that's the great part is like you can enjoy that 
great food, and then also have the atmosphere as yeah. the plus. It's know? probably good for families too, because you got the TVs, you got the music. Yeah. Like people with young kids, always like if you want to go to a nice restaurant, you're always like, I'll make sure my kids behave, or if it's like quiet, I don't want them interrupting anybody. But a place like this, where it's like, it's okay for a kid to kind of be a kid, right? Yeah. Like you don't yeah. want to be a terror. You like the, you don't want the kid to terrorize like the restaurant. Right. Right. But. If they're a little bit loud or like they want to do something, like it's cool because it's an environment that has music playing. They can watch TVs. Yeah, like yeah. Dad can watch the game. Yeah, and yeah it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. What are you uh, most excited about about like the growth of Boombots? Um, mostly, I would say, you know, getting into to new markets and you know spreading the love and. You know, keeping it going. What's the goal for you guys? How many, is there like a goal you want to get to a certain number? Or? I always say shoot for the stars. Yeah. I'm the type of person, it's like, in my head, you got to just shoot for the stars. Yeah. And there's, you know, really no limit to, to where you can go. And that's, that's all I'm going to focus on. That's awesome. Yeah. If it gets to 20 and I'm shooting for a thousand, you know. I'll be happy, but you know. I mean, so. even nine, even nine's a lot. Like a lot of people are gonna watch this right now and be like, nine locations. I could never imagine owning nine locations. So you're kind of already, to some people, like their goal would be nine, and you're already there. Yeah. So it's, yeah. that's a good lesson to learn for people to be like, you know what? Everybody's goal is different. Yeah. Right. Like no matter how little you think your goal is, or how big somebody else's goal is, anything's possible. Yeah. And even out of one shop, you know, if you double down on on one shop and operations, good service, great food, good experience. Yeah. You can do just as much as having five. Yeah, you know, that's true. With way less, you know, stress and overhead and everything else. Yeah. So sometimes it's I like good that. to have just one. Yeah, you're right. Like, yeah. You, <laughs> sometimes you want to go back to just one. Like I always say that, everybody always asks people who own a pizza shop. I don't know why. Every time you say you own a pizza shop, you're like, you say you own one, Eventually, they're like, all right, when you open in your next one. Yeah. It's always like a question people ask. They always just expect you to keep opening more, but you don't have to. No, no. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in doubling down on, on one and making it great. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I appreciate you having us here. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Give for us, coming. give like someone who's like looking to get started in the pizza business. Like, what's one piece of advice you would give? Like, something that maybe you wish you would have known in your early days? I would say. Don't give up, honestly, but... Uh, it's not as bad as that kid's making it seem. <laughs> I would say don't give up and, you know, take every day as a new challenge and don't let the chaos stress you out because yeah. there's always brighter days. Yeah. You know? That's a good, that's a good yeah. strategy because... And even when you think you're, you know, you might want to give up, there's always that, that one last chance. Yeah. I learned that from my father, you know. He yeah. just put everything into the restaurants and, you know, we were living in an apartment, all of us, and then. He was, he was owning restaurants, like, while you guys living in an apartment all together? Oh, yeah, brother sleeping on the couch, and oh, it just wow. took that one last, you know, shot to kind of change everything. And like changed your whole family's trajectory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So don't give it's up. It's a long game, yeah. it's a long game. That's the key part yeah. right there. Yeah. Everybody wants super quick success. Yeah. Like I opened a pizza shop last year and it's not doing great. All right, what are you doing? And it's yeah. like, you're doing good. Yeah. It's only a year. Everybody wants it to be five years in a year. Yeah. No. But it takes a while to it's get going. A, yeah. You gotta be persistent and consistent. Yeah, gotta, gotta be willing to eat. Eat crap for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you uh, shit for a long time. Yeah, you, you can say shit. Time. It's all right. This ain't a family show. <laughs> all right, we'll cut. Uh, Enzo, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yeah, this is great, man. Thank you.